The pride of Fort Dodge, Iowa. Empty. So, dirty Dodge. The dirty dog on Dodge. Yeah. Mr. Teske, how's it going, man? Good. So, you kind of back home. You're pretty close to home. Not too far. So, you, you're Fort Dodge, and did you, you train with Carl Valley? Were you, yeah. were you a Carl yep. Valley guy? Yep. All right, so coming up Fort Dodge, Carl Valley, do a, do a stint at Penn State, and then you find yourself back here in the right. UNI room. Um, Talk a little bit about that journey coming back here and kind of how it feels to be back in Iowa and, and be in this room and be around these guys. Well, uh, shoot, I mean, not even two weeks ago, I was planning on winning a national title for Penn State. Uh, life is crazy, things happen, and um, it wasn't one specific incident or something, you know, it wasn't one thing that I was like, yep, I'm ready to leave. It wasn't like that. It was more of just uh, getting myself back to Brody Teske and um, that involved coming home. Uh, and so, you know, things change. Uh, obviously, this March isn't a thing anymore. Uh, but we move it to now April for the World Team Trials. And uh, I'm home. I'm getting back to myself. I'm feeling good. And I'm surrounded by a lot of good people. And uh, I'm ready to just elevate. So talk about being back home. You had an unbelievable, unbelievable career in Iowa. You're a four-time state champ. One loss? One to loss, Thompson. Yeah. Yep. You and him had two of the craziest matches that I've watched in high school. It was a council bluffs, and then the other one was another one, an overtime match. So you yep. won the first one, he won the second one, right? Yep. So had a little history with him. Um, what, what, what about those matches pushed you? Because obviously, you know, you go pretty dominant through high school in a very tough wrestling state. Talk about, talk about if, if it did. Uh, what 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 those matches did? How it elevated you? And you guys were two different weight classes, so y'all kind of made made a uh, made an effort to find each other throughout the season, right? Yeah, I mean, we both were chasing four titles from day one. Everyone was like, "Oh, I wonder if they'll ever meet," you know. And um, you know, the way things work out, you know, again, life just kind of it goes this way. But uh, yeah, we met we met up, and it, it, we were we were at the same weights, 126. I mean, that was. That was the weight I needed to be at, not cutting much and just living life as a senior in high school. And it was the same for him. And uh, paths crossed. We uh, we banged it out, and you know, it was more of just uh, you know learned so much about ourselves through it, and just that you know what else came from it. You know, we grew the sport, we grew Iowa wrestling, and we got our names out there a little bit more. And uh, it was just the growth you know, for ourselves and also the sport, but uh, as far as learning for myself, you know, the preparation going into it was a little bit different. It wasn't just another, well, here's another Saturday tournament, you know, let's kind of go through the motions, you know, things had to make sure, you know, we had to make sure things were in line and things were going to work out the way we needed them to. And uh, the first time we met was in <coughs> Council Bluffs, and that's a pretty, pretty tough tournament. It is. And uh, actually, dang near seen defeat the match before I actually wrestled him um, in the semis. It was a pretty crazy back and forth match and uh, you know maybe looking ahead too far maybe just like I said not doing the things exactly right on that I needed to be doing but I don't know we just learned a lot and carried that into the future and again we met up in Cedar Rapids not too long after maybe two three weeks uh, and um, which is again, it's a pretty tough tournament, and <clears throat> it wasn't just another let's go through the motion Saturday. It was make weight the right way, feel good, rehydrate, get ready to go. And, and uh, again, we had another tough battle. And as far as shaking hands and wrestling, I mean, on the mat wise, I learned a lot about myself, and you know that I could go with anybody. Uh, you know where where he's at now. He's starting for Nebraska. He's wrestling tonight against Penn State. So it's kind of cool how <laughs> things work out. But uh, right. it's just. Um, a lot was learned, you know. And you talk about um, need to get back home and, and, and get back in touch with, with Brody yeah. Teske. Like, can, can, you, can you put that into words? I mean, can you talk about what, what you've experienced or what you've, what you've figured out just in the short time you've been here or what, what the goal is to, to get back to maybe maybe you got a little away from who you are or your core values? or, or Talk about that. What, what, what do you mean by that? 
Oh yeah, definitely. You hit it right on. I mean, my core values. That's not something that I got to get back to. I mean, that was kind of a bad reference that I put. You know, it's not getting back to Brody Teske. It's just become Brody Teske and just continue to become a better version. You know, not so much go back to this or that. You know, because I'm so much different than I was. You know, when I was recruited and committed to Penn State, and now, you know, to where I am and being a Northern Iowa Panther, it's. <clears throat> It's uh, more about just the evolution of who I am and now the revolution of who I want to become. And that's what's exciting, man. I'm ready to just take off and catapult towards my goals. And as far as that reference of getting back to Brody Teske, it's, it's, that's kind of a bad way to put it. But uh, just remembering who I am and what makes me who I am. And uh, it's not. You know, I could have done that out there. I was, you know, that's who I was. That's always going to be a part of me. Them experiences at Penn State, I'll never forget, man. Them experiences I'm going to carry with me forever. And uh, the values and the lessons I learned, priceless. Uh, wouldn't change anything. Um, some experiences that I did go through were kind of, you know, a struggle. But again, that's making me who I am. And some of them were major reasons on why you know, I decided to, you know, come home or come closer, and here I am. Yeah, and if everything's perfect, man, you, you, you're not really finding finding your limits, finding finding really who you are, and Doug Schwab is one of those people. I mean, he's got an amazing staff behind him with, with Pew and Roper and B-Rob, but um, I feel like you and Doug Schwab are a, a, a special pair when y'all get on the same wavelength. Um, is is that one of the reasons that you ended up in you and I just just what you think that Doug Schwab can can put you Teske 2.0? Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, it's I've, that's you're actually not the first person that's told me that. Uh, he's a great guy, you know. And like you said, we we kind of clash, you know. That's that goes back to my values. What makes me who I am. What makes him who he is. You know, they they correlate, and that that relationship is it's something that you know. We built a long time ago while I was being recruited, and now we're just, you know, we're together, and now it's ready to clash. But, and that doesn't take anything away from where I was, you know, Cody Sanderson and Coach Kale and Coach Casey Cunningham, and the guys I've spent a lot of time out there with, you know, it's nothing that I'm gonna bash on them, and I'll never look back and, you know, take anything away. I mean, they, 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 uh, they did a great job, and, and that's the thing that a lot of people don't understand. You know, it's not something that. I, uh, you know, it wasn't ex an experience that I needed more from them or they didn't do something or did do something that made me like, all right, I'm leaving. You know, it wasn't anything like that. It was just a buildup of things that, you know, just pointed me to here where I was like, I need to get back. And this is where I am. And uh, having Doug Schwab right down the road, it's that's a plus, man. <laughs> What else you got for me, man? You, you're, you're welcome aboard the you and I Panther train, first and foremost. But uh, you got anything else for us, man? No, just a big thank you to everybody that's been supportive and helped me on this journey. It's it's crazy, but uh, you know, all glory to God, and let's see where this is gonna go.